All right, I'll be the first person to admit I love a good gimmick and I love zombies. So of course everyone knows I'm going to love this stuff. Everyone's already seen these. Most people already have some. There's tons of videos about them on YouTube right now. This is the Hornady Zombie Max Ammo. As you can see right here, this is the 380 Zombie Max Ammo. As you can see, I've bought a few boxes of it. I have about another dozen boxes coming on order. Uh, some 12 gauge and some more 40s, some more 9, some more 380, uh, some more 45. A little bit more of everything that I got here except for I got some 12 gauges coming too. Uh, I wanted to get it to where I have five boxes of each one that I use. Didn't want a ton of them because like I say it is gimmicky ammo But I just wanted to have some as a collector's item because it is cool. It's cute. It's a nice conversation not a starter uh, And I'm also going to give maybe give a couple boxes away later on I haven't decided yet maybe do a little zombie contest and give away some zombie ammo uh, But this is just what I wanted to show people today not because it's something you haven't seen already because you've, you've seen it But was my point about this stuff is this is what happens when manufacturers listen to their market uh, people accuse gun manufacturers of not listening to their market very often, and they're starting to now. They're starting to come around. People are starting to make the manufacturers starting to make smaller carry guns, and the people are going crazy over them. Uh, it took them so long, but this is a perfect example of a gimmick where the manufacturer has listened to its market. Hornady saw what was going on. Hornady realizes how people feel about zombies and how they're loving the, the whole zombie craze. They made this stuff. I don't think they anticipated how big it was going to be because this stuff has gotten huge. I mean, they have had do mass produce this stuff in numbers beyond anything they imagined. I was talking to a guy the other day who uh, knows someone who's a rep for Hornady and he was like, they just really didn't expect what happened with the sales on this thing, that they've had to shut down other lines just to produce more of this. And it's just a perfect example of what happens when you listen to your market. When your market likes something and you produce something along those lines, it'll sell. And this stuff has sold like crazy. I mean, I would not have gone out and bought this many boxes of ammo, add 12 more to this, and I would not have bought that this time of year because it's Christmas, I save my money for other things. But because it was such a special item and I'm afraid they might stop making it, uh, I went out and bought this much of it, you know, dozens of boxes of it. So that just shows you, you make a product people want, you listen to your customers, and you'll sell your product. Uh, just, just really, really cool item, I think.